I'm Elena Patria, I'm from the University of Alcalá, and I'm here to present some of the first uh, results of a project uh, granted by the Erasmus Plus calls uh, about uh, the uh, project was called Digital Skills Accelerators, and uh, our main objective uh, with this first uh, with this first report is to have a deep insight a deep study uh, about how digital competencies are perceived <coughs> in importance by the different stakeholders that interview uh, in, this, in this whole process. Uh, this is the outline of our presentation. Uh, first of all, we want to clarify what we understand by digital skills. Uh, then we present the different stakeholders that uh, uh, has involved in digital skills uh, acquisitions and uh, discuss about the different importance that uh, perceived by the different stakeholders. Uh, one of the main uh, findings is try to understand and to, to, to find if uh, our higher education students are really prepared in digital skills uh, then we uh, commence some limitation of uh, our study and finally some conclusions and another. According to the European Qualification Framework, digital skills are part of competencies. Completely, they are cognitive skills that require the use of digital tools, of course, but uh, in a proposal activities. This should, uh, the skills should be uh, put in practices and uh, they can be observed and assessed in the workplace when contextualizing particular job roles or practical tasks. Uh, the framework, uh, the European uh, co uh, Competences Framework, is the one on the, on the right side, and uh, uh, make a, a competence division in areas, completely in five areas, one, uh, each of them are, uh, are divide into competencies, 21 more precisely, and this model perfectly fits uh, the most recent one, that uh, uh, it's called GISC, it's the image on the right side, on the left side. In our study, uh, we uh, uh, involve four different uh, stakeholders, on the one, first hand, uh, the higher education students, that are receiving digital skills training and will eventually use these skills when entering the workforce. Then, the employers are also important that uh, require the, employee, the employers that require the employees to be digital skilled in a, for a variety of tasks, instructors and educational experts in higher education, and uh, last but not least, other institutions like Swiss organizations that expect the uh, digital skills as an essential ability to citizenship uh, uh, in cyberspace. Okay, uh, the study was carried uh, out uh, using two, two instruments. On the one hand, uh, uh, we <coughs> gather data using a survey, and uh, uh, in this survey, uh, stakeholders was aimed, uh, were aimed to, to prioritize different competencies related with digital skills. And then uh, focus groups was carried out to supplement the study with uh, qualitative information. Those are the questions that we presented in the focus group. The, 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 the study was uh, uh, carried out in a transnational way, interview uh, people from uh, uh, Poland, Belgium, the United Kingdom and Spain participated in the, in the project. And uh, uh, those uh, are the main questions uh, were uh, used to conduct the focus groups. And those are the results when uh, the stakeholders uh, was uh, asked to prioritize the competencies for each category. The most uh, cross-cutting competency that we can observe was uh, a related information uh, uh, 
compare digital competency, completely evaluate, evaluating information. Both employers and uh, the higher education staff consider this competency crucial, a key, a key stone for the, for the entry in the workforce for the students. Uh, another important high, uh, finding was uh, that the students was the, uh, the, the unique group that uh, introduced concepts about safe uh, in, the, in the most high priority comp uh, competencies. And uh, something interesting is that uh, the, there is a very high correlative a uh, factor between all the groups. Most, uh, the higher one was between the employers and the staff and the university staff, which correlate in the, <coughs> in the order that made uh, uh, of the competencies. This is really important for us. But uh, understand that uh, this correlation among perception of stakeholder groups considers competencies uh, as more important, uh, information and communication as the, as the most, most important one. Uh, perception that the higher education does not train with sufficient, uh, sufficient uh, intensity and this provoke us to further study the way and the learning uh, approach that we use to, uh, <coughs> to teach these kind of others are competencies. And uh, for further educa for educators, one of the most important things that is in our next uh, steps <coughs> is emphasize on autonomy to learn uh, and use digital tools and uh, 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 introduce uh, systematically <coughs> in our, uh, in our <coughs> curricula the traversal of the digital skills using uh, seat-based learning or big problem-based learning or something like that. 